Thank you guys for coming. Appreciate it. I thought last week was really a huge uh, win for us. Uh, Lamar, a lot of credit goes to him. I thought they, they had a very good football team. Uh, we got a tough one, got us in a, in a tight ball game. And I think the, the fashion we did it in uh, is going to give us a lot of confidence, for hopefully, especially offensively, to come up with a 17 play drive to, to win the ball games is, is a huge, huge feat in itself. Um, didn't play perfect. Obviously, we made plenty of mistakes. And uh, we got to hopefully continue to work on those things and get them corrected. Um, but, uh, you know, you got to be happy with the win. I'm, I'm pleased about that. And, uh, and just another opportunity to go after a great opponent. Uh, McNeese, obviously, is our first ranked opponent we're going to see. That, uh, you know, again, there's been a tremendous rivalry between us and them. Um, we have a lot of respect for them. I know that. I've said that many times about the just tradition of what they've done for over a program for years. Uh, and done a tremendous job down there. So we're seeing obviously a very t a team that's obviously very well coached, uh, great football team. It's an in-state rivalry. It's not just about conference. It's also about recruiting. This is about in-state, you know, bragging rights. You name it, it's out there. Uh, this is about one of the biggest games that we'll was all, all, right now. This is the biggest game we played this year, and uh, it's going to have huge, ram huge ramifications and obviously in conference play down the road. So we're excited about it, and obviously it's always a tough environment to go over there in McNeese. And if somebody can keep that horse away from me, I'd really appreciate it. Nah. Right. Any questions? You mentioned not playing perfect, and look at some some turning points where, like after your interception, that opportunity to go up twenty-one nothing, yeah. this field goal. Yep. Next thing you know, you're down. You know, then you throw them 13, 14, 13 and Yeah. Uh, your defense has a huge stop, forces them to. To a field goal to keep it within one score. I mean, there's a lot of turning points, and, and like you gutting out a 17 play drive to finish is just incredible. Yeah. Uh, the way to finish like that. Yeah, that, that was a big point. Point obviously get the interception. We're up 13 nothing. Go down there. Uh, missed opportunity. You know, was, we talked about that. Obviously, we're learning. We got we got to learn from those. That, that's a time to deliver a knockout. Maybe at 20 nothing. I don't know if they tap out because they got a lot of pride in their program, and I know they're well coached. So I don't know if they tap out. But obviously, we start to discourage them from continuing to play so hard. And uh, but we opened the door ourselves, and uh, they did a great job fighting back in it. And then, like you said, uh, defensively, I thought in the second half did an amazing job. And obviously, uh, the, the the field goals, forcing them to field goals, was huge. Obviously allowed us, you know, obviously to be able to stay in the game with an opportunity to win it there in the last drive. What's your field goal situation? Why do you still stay with this guy? Yeah, I mean, I, I, again, uh, we knew that going into the beginning of the year. I got, I think he's 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 a great kicker. Excuse me, he's a, re a really good kicker. He's a great kicker. I got a lot of faith in him. He's been tremendously consistent majority of the time. You know, he had a little hiccup there at Northwestern. It comes out of the gate. I think that's nerves. Uh, this one, he just kind of hit it off his toe, uh, misses two. Um, but I like what I like is he came back and hit a 40 yarder into the wind. Um, you know, I think hopefully he understands. I know he does. He understands we're going to stick with him. He's the guy. He's our guy. And uh, I don't expect him to be perfect. I know that, you know, he's a freshman, to, you know, and uh, but I really believe that, that, you know, when his time comes and he feels when he really gets on a groove, uh, he's going to be up there with, all, you know, we've had some great ones in the last couple of years with Sebastian and, and Adams. And, you know, we, we've had two guys that basically have gone perfect for the year. Uh, I think he's that guy. I think he's that caliber of doing that, you know. Um, and he's going to have to learn some lessons on the way, and he's going to make some mistakes, and he's going to have to grow up in the process. Coach, week one, you didn't want to put it all in the shade. This time you threw him out there and uh, let him play his game. And yeah. despite those two untimely drops, he played his butt off. Yeah, I thought he played really well. I thought not just uh, on throwing the football. I think he did, did it when he did throw the ball. He threw it with some decisive actions, uh, you know, just very decisive, making his decisions and getting the ball there on time. Threw the ball with confidence. Uh, probably the best thing he did though was, was just running the offense, checking plays, at the line of scrimmage, getting us in the right plays, delivering the balls we were supposed to deliver it to. Um, and that was really, honestly, that was really game one for him, you know. That was his. That's his game one, and, and I think I said it on earlier in the South of Conference media is that uh, this will be game two, and uh, hopefully he's going to see the, you know, what you usually do is the greatest amount of improvement between one and two, and if and if he makes any improvement at all, uh, I think we got something pretty special on our hands. The throw to Acker on the on the last drive, when you look at an example of how good he can be to, yeah. to, to just thread him in there. Yeah. Is that an example of just how good he can be? Uh, I I think obviously that uh, we you. you you judge quarterbacks a certain way. People want to judge them by accuracy and whatever. You judge them by wins. Um, but the other way, the big one you, you judge quarterbacks by is how do they play under pressure 
on third downs, third downs with the game on the line. And so far in his two ball games, he went down and executed a 17-yard drive to score, you know, and played pretty phenomenal on that last drive. And then uh, and you go back to the last the, the drive versus Northwestern to eat the clock up to finish it. And both of his games that he's played in, uh, he's had to get in there and, and crunch time and deliver with the game on the line. And he's done it both times. So I think we're trying to so hopefully everybody else sees what we see. Uh, I think he's going to be a great quarterback in this conference. And, uh, you know, time will tell itself, and he's going to have the opportunity to do it and make his own statements. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty, yeah, it's really good. Uh, the only thing that stopped us offensively was ourselves. We have 560 something yards offense. Uh, the only thing that stopped us was turnovers and penalties. Um, and, uh, you know, a couple missed scoring opportunities there on some field goals. And, you know, um, but uh, I, I think uh, you know we can we can eliminate those mistakes and do that, then uh, we're going to be in great shape. On the last drive, did it work out because of the, the, the alignments you were getting that you became a really right-handed type team? You know, was, it, was it more you know, confidence in that side of the line? Or? Well, well, most like I said, most things we do up front is, is we're checking it. So it's based on what they're doing. So if they, you know, they're, they're by their alignment and where they're at, we're going where the numbers are, and uh, and uh, so most of those, most of those that in that drive, most of those plays were, were checked. Coach, can you comment about your defense coming in to uh, the next game? Yeah, uh, I think hopefully I think we're going to be as healthy as we've been. Uh, we're going to add a couple of guys back. I know Will Hines. Uh, hopefully some defensive line, Mickey Fonga too will be back. Uh, we may even get Taylor Cochran back. We thought we were going to get him last week, didn't. Um, so th hopefully we're going to get a little healthier at the right time. Um, I thought uh, uh, we have, you know, we've been on the verge of playing great. We haven't, well, I consider what well, we haven't played great. We played really good at times, and at times we show those those flashes of being a dominating defense. And sometimes we we've been in games this year where we dominated for a half on the run game, and we dominated you know in the second half. And you know I don't know if we put that complete one together for four quarters. Um, this would be obviously would be a great time to do it. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, I think they're I think they're getting better every week as well. And. Uh, I think we play. We face some pretty good offenses too. I mean, from Ohio to Lamar in the last two ball games, were, were pretty high. Both of them were, you know, pretty successful and big challenges for us on the defense side of the ball. Coach, you don't really show up in the stat sheet. I mean, it does a little bit, but I think Eugene had a. He had a monster game. He had a, two dropped interceptions that he could have had. That yeah, he, yeah. And that hit at the end. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. He he was very physical. Obviously, a great job in the run game. Was all over the field. Uh, it, just some picks. Obviously, I'm sure he'd love to have it. If you see him, he's down there catching the balls on the, on the machine right now. <laughs> but <laughs> he will, yeah, he will take care of his business. I know he. Uh, I thought he had a phenomenal game, um, but it can always get better, you know. But uh, he had a phenomenal game. Hopefully, it's his coming out party, you know. I think there's always those times that kids, you know, have to have that time where they really step in themselves and have that game that they, they really want. And then, uh, and ideally, the, the process is, is once you step into that world, you stay there. And hopefully he will, because we're going to need him to play great on this stretch in the Southland Conference play. The challenge that Sam's presents, obviously, run throw, you know, big guy can get the edge on you. Yeah, he's uh, he is a very dynamic football player. Uh, I think uh, you know some of the best things he does is when the play breaks down, him just taking off and running, and that's where he's probably created the most damage. I think of hurting people uh, is just him improvising and doing his thing. Um, so they're they're uh, it's a little they they have changed they're a little different on offense than what they've been in, in the past. Um, not so much under center, not doing things. I think they've changed all those things for him. Um, so it's just you know, again he's a dynamic football player. He's a guy that you want to get the ball in his hands and, and see if he can impact the football game. So we're obviously obviously he's a concern of ours and a main focus coming in this week. Is, you know, not really stopping him, but you know, because he's athletic. You know, you can do about stopping him when he gets open field. What you got to do is contain him, contain him, slow him down, and make sure you limit him so he doesn't hurt you. And that's what we got to do with him. Them? Yes. Uh, well, you know, up front they're big and physical. The two inside guys are about as big and physical guys that we've seen all year. Yuri Agus kid, and I'm not sure the other one. I only really know Yuri Agus because we recruited him. But uh, 
great players, physical inside, big, run, do all the things you want up front. Um, in the back end, though, they've got a they got experience. I mean, they've got three, three seniors in the back, uh, uh, do a tremendous job on the run game. Uh, they're obviously very well coached. They're, they're a lot like us when you, when you throw the film on, really just because they're, they're multiple, they're going to do a lot of things, they are going to heat you up with pressure. Uh, they're not going to sit in the same look and give you certain things. Um, they're going to, try, by design, try to take certain things away. They're just going to eliminate it. Um, they do a lot, they do a great job. Uh, it'll probably, it probably will be our biggest challenge on, on offensively, our best defense we've seen. And I don't mean that, including Ohio. I think this is the best defense we've seen um, from an opponent. And, uh, uh, you know, we are going to have to just take care of ourselves. And we can't, in this, in get great defense, you can't put yourself, you can't start out with penalties and be second, you know, first and 20. You can't, you can't have penalties, you can't turn the football over. When your opportunity comes to score, you got to put the ball in the end zone. And um, you know, we get in those red zones, we get in the tournament, we, we got to come away with points. You got to take advantage of it because you're not going to get a bunch. And the advantage you, the times and opportunities you get, you got to take advantage of them. How disruptive has Golden been for them in 97 since he's been there? Well, I, I, there's a bunch of them, I mean, really. Uh, you know, again, right now, I don't know if they're leading, and I don't know where they are nationally, but they've got to be leading in their, almost every category. Or, they're top in the country in every category on defense side of the ball. Now I know again we're just now starting South in conference play, so that's got to play itself out. But uh, they're dominating defense. Uh, I, I mean, I really like the way they say they play. I mean, sometimes as a coach, I think you flip on the film and you appreciate from the other side and you say, oh, you know, they're getting things done, doing a great job. I think they are. You know. How much is that Phil Gendry touched on this, but they're similar to what you got? A lot, of, yeah. There's, I mean, there. I mean, it's not identical as, as scheme-wise, but a lot of it is very similar. I mean, we do a lot of things that we do, and just being multiple helps. Is that? Uh, uh, I think ours helps us in practice all the time. As year round, our kids get to see everything. That basically anything you can do, from bare front to odd front to over under, you know. You know so we'll, we'll give multiple looks and four down, three down, and and try to give them everything they can they can see. Um, but uh, I, I know again the biggest thing. I think the biggest challenge is that they are very consistent and they don't make mistakes. And so in those teams, you 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 got to eliminate your mistakes. And when that was last time we probably we talked about that, the big was in Ohio. Ohio going that game, we thought we really had to eliminate our mistakes because they were so. That's how because they were that good. Because if we made much of mistakes, they were really going to make pay the price. And they did. In the long run, that's when he really shot us in the foot. Was we made mistakes and it shot us. And uh, it's the same thing. When anytime you're saying facing a great defense, then obviously your offense is. It's not about getting the big plays. I mean, you can, you love to have them, but it's more so about you taking care of the things, not letting them force you into negative, you know, lost yardage, uh, holding people because you're, you know, worried about the pressure, or you're taking sacks or turnovers and things like that. And we, we've got to do a better job of that because right, right now, to me, uh, uh, we're still in the mode is that, uh, uh, you know, we want to take care of ourselves, eliminate our, our own mistakes. And if we do that, I think we can. I think we can move the football versus anybody. I know a lot of emphasis, obviously, that the drive at the end of the game was, was, was one of the things beauty for you. But to uh, see the defense go back out, you had to get a stop. It was a collective effort. You know, they both got they, they did, both did their jobs. I just wonder, you meaning how much you think you grew up maybe more than. Uh, I hope so. I mean, I think so. I think our guys got in the case. Uh, I mean, there's two things. I think our guys. I think understand right now is that. Um, if we take care of our business, we're pretty good, and we can play with anybody in the country. Um, when we make mistakes and we don't play well, well we can lose. We can lose to an average Joe, and um, so I think our guys understand that, and they, and they completely understand coming in this ball game, the magnitude of it and the ramifications, and McNeese and the respect we have for them. So, I would think we're going to have the, we're, we're not going to have a problem getting their focus or their attention this week. We expect to get Julius back. I expect to get Julius back. He's going to practice today. Yep. Well, it's still kind of early. It's kind of touched on this too, but this is also a chance to kind of separate the team right up there. The oh yeah. It's, it's a chance to bring yeah. some early separation. And Want to call them separation Saturday? And here it comes. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt, because obviously at the end of this thing, after this game, well, somebody's going to be the lead. You know. Lead of the race, and then everybody's going to be playing to pick catch up from there on. You know, I just always been the guy. I'd rather I'd rather start in front and try to lead. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll get that done. If I had my if I can pick, 
I want to stay out front and see and let them chase us. So, um, yeah, this is huge. That's why I say it's huge. Is that uh, whoever gets this is you're starting from the front, and everybody else is gonna play catch up from there on out, and uh, that's where you want to be.